Oregon trying to get to the Final Four for the first time since 1939. First year of the NCAA tournament, they were national champions. Kansas trying to get back for the first time since 93. Oregon, man, man. Hard workers, but both see key how he plays at Frederick Jones. Those guys can light it up deep. Bill, he didn't give you time to get I know, it out. Very upset with that quick chuck by Roy Williams, guys. Frederick Jones limited to four points in the uh, game here Friday night, but he had the game winner. Here's Heinrich with a rebound for Kansas, playing on the sore ankle. And the jumper from Boshi for the second consecutive one. Offensive board, Collison for Kansas. Back they come, the freshman Aaron Miles brings it back outside. There's Heinrich, a little too far left. Luke Jackson, Oregon, throws it away. A little too deep, and they are an excellent passing team. We've noted the flop head look by Jackson and Ridenauer, but it's very important to check out for Oregon uh, the ability speed-wise of the inside people for KU. Dynamite, they got that last offensive rebound. Entry pass from Gooden. Here's Collison in the post. Over the seven-foot, two-inch Chris Christopherson. And that's the footwork. Collison, excellent around the basket as well as from the foul area. Collison played for Ernie Kemp, the Oregon coach, on an all-star team, under-21 team, in Japan last year. Here's Gooden with a rebound. That ties him on the all-time list, by the way. A missed shot with Wilt Chamberlain for fifth in rebounds. Next rebound, he'll pass Chamberlain. In and out. He's just passed Wilt Chamberlain. He is number four now on the all-time Kansas list. Boshi, jumper. Rebound, Jackson. Here's Luke Jackson, the sophomore from Creswell, Oregon. Ridnauer, good defensive job by Boshi. Heinrich tries to keep it alive. He's on the line. Now you notice Jackson, that matchup, that is important. I think he's got six foot seven, a pretty solid frame. He got a good look. Heinrich's on him. They're giving up something on the other end. They're gaining something with the foot speed. If Heinrich can regain that ability due to that injured ankle. And immediately, Ernie Kett goes to his bench and brings Brian Helquist in. Helquist playing with a bad right knee. Did you notice how quickly Carlson got down the floor? That's part of the They better get back. The bigs can run for KU. Now, that was a real concern, Bill, for Ernie Kent in Oregon. And he felt that he would sub quite a bit for that very reason. Here's Jones, kicks it right side. Luke Rittenauer guarded by Aaron Miles. That's a freshman against the sophomore. Here's Heinrich with Luke Jackson back. Loose ball, Boshi. They've already caught it, but you know, that's just not real good communication by KU. They had numbers. If Heinrich had been informed, somebody should have been shouting, give it to me. As Roy looks on. You get a sense of nervousness of both teams. Well, well, I mean, it's so important. I mean, this is it. I mean, somebody goes home, somebody goes to Atlanta. You see the turnovers early by Oregon. Oregon averaging only 14 turnovers per game. Three already. Here's Rittenauer and Jackson. Jackson's fall away, the left-handed jumper. That'll ease the, the size. I mean, he can plump bob on the head of Heinrich. <laughs> it's 6-7 against 6-3. Now Collison out on the point. Here's Heinrich. Injured the ankle the first round game against Holy Cross. Oh, oh what a spin move. Off the glass for Collison. A little lingerie on the deck early. He's got great footsteps around the hole. There really is a decided advantage for the big guys for Kansas in this game. Now Hillquist wants it. Muscles his way up and under. There are three rebounds for Gooden. Here comes Boshi for Kansas. It's the counter that hurts. Here's the early offense. They get a back screen on the center. He looks, let's see if they get it for him. There's a pushing foul, Frederick Jones. Well, the ability to elevate is very important, but you, you see the size difference and the confidence now. You got three or four inches. Heinrich gets up on time, still not able to deter, but here's that nice little screen across that they run. It's a little curl. Now watch the drop step baseline. The weight forward, a little kiss. My big Nick. And the first substitution for Kang Kansas. Here's Collison, and he picks up a quick foul for Christofferson, who is back on the floor. Chris Christofferson, who uh, on the early uh, returns might need somebody to help him make it through the afternoon. Well, I saw Ernie Kansas chatting with him, and it's tough to say, hey, get quicker. 
I'm sure he would like that to happen, but he's going to have to give a cushion. Right. You can't get quick, and you can't get tall. It's tough it's to coach mouse. quick, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but Callison can move outside, which I think makes him so tough, and yet he's so strong around the hole. Collison with another free throw. One of two. And uh, Jackson for Oregon. And Miles with the matchup here has been able to contain Ridnour, who loves to get in the lane and create. Miles did a wonderful job against TJ Ford of Texas in the second round game. There's a beautiful dish and the basket. Uh, they paid for help defense right there. Kansas overcommitted. Collison in the lane trying to jam things up. Never here he is here. He never regains position. Of course, the slide by, the finish by the big guy. And unfortunately, Collison, that early foul. And the fellow from Dunne, Runa, Denmark, Chris Christofferson, came here as an exchange student and spent his final two years of high school in Ojai, California. He has only played organized basketball for six years back in Denmark, water polo and soccer. And now Wayne Simeon will uh, give Collison a rest. Throwing a little volleyball too, not much basketball. He really played uh, six or six, six year, I believe. But he went to the Pete Rule camp to improve his footwork. He'll need it today. Miles, the freshman, off the rim. Gooden with four rebounds. And the putback, the jumper from 12 feet is good. And that's what Roy Williams feels. He does so well, exceedingly well, better than maybe anybody else in the country. Offensive rebound, Gooden. Langford off the bench. There's a spin move, and Christofferson is going to go back to the free throw line. So they were in pretty good shape back there. We're good and looming in the rear. You just don't want to give that foul up early underneath. Wayne Simeon picks up the foul. And Christofferson. Two shots. Struggles from that free throw line, Vern. Heinrich's going to come on and give Aaron Miles a rest. Heinrich, Miles, and Boshi, all three can play the point. And Luke Ridenauer is going to get a rest simultaneously for Ernie, Ernie Kent's team. And not a bad move when you think of it. Uh, you get, get both of them out. Uh, one guards extremely well. Ridenauer, they need him to push the tempo, so they're going to rest him accordingly. And Anthony Lieber is on the floor, replacing Ridenauer. Here's Heinrich at the point. Nice entry pass, but it's knocked out of bounds. And what a great play by Robert Johnson there, sliding in. Looked like they may have been in a little zone that trip. Mark Michaelis comes off the bench now for Ernie Kent's team. And Robert Johnson will get a rest. And not ready. Simeon, pump fake. Jackson avoids the foul, but the tip is up and good from Keith Langford. Boy, he keeps biting people, Langford. Excellent offensive rebounder. A slasher, big game the other night to get him here. And that brings the Jayhawk fans up behind the Kansas bench. Nice curl. Trying to get a Jones on track. And the reach around by Wayne Simeon knocks it out of bounds. Drew Gooden, a rebounding phenom. And uh, this afternoon, he has passed Wilt Chamberlain for number four on the all-time Kansas list. You might say, well, who's one? <laughs> well, Danny Manning. Uh, he was right on two. top of it up. Uh, Rafe, I'd say. Rafe for friends, for friends by one. But Wilt left after his sophomore right. year now, so uh, pretty good handle here at the trap. Off to timeout, Kansas. There's Johnson. Muscles his way in. There's Gooden with another rebound. That's five rebounds already for Gooden. And Heinrich. Gooden, top of the key. Guarded by Johnson, a whistle and a foul. It's a three-second violation. You know, that's, that's an unusual call because Simeon fell. It's no advantage. That's one of those play-ons. Checking the P early here, Vern. A little ticky. Oh, tacky. my goodness. Huh? Lace curtain. Are you taking issue with the call no, by well, Jim Burr? We'll see. How, well, now, see, you, you hurt me because you mentioned his name. <laughs> give us good reason. Nice back cut. Ah, uh, beauty. Frederick Jones, no. But Christopherson with the tip. Right to the rim. Great reaction. Defense went to hell. That was a terrific pass from Johnson in the corner. Jeff Boshi, the senior out of Valley City, North Dakota. Nobody's going for snacks in this game, Burr. And they just keep coming at you. Jackson with the runner, the offensive board, a second offensive board, and Jackson puts it in. Taking advantage once again of size. Now Heinrich said yesterday, told us that the ankle bothers him more defensively than it does on offense. There's Simeon in the lane. They are really attacking Christofferson. 
good pressure in the backcourt almost created a turnover. Now Heinrich on Ridenauer, the entry pass, Christofferson. And there's Gooden with six rebounds. Drew Gooden, of course, averaging a double-double for the season, 20 points and 11 boards. Take away Frederick Jones. He's got a clear path. Unimpeded. Oh, my goodness. I think that was a little aggression because they didn't have a good game the other night. Wow. Send it in. At the other end, Gooden fouled by Christopherson. Uh, Oregon's been talking about their defense and just a great read, good pressure. They step into the passing lane. Frederick Jones here with great anticipation. Wow. Look at this elevation. And along came Jones. Send it in. 6 4 and elevating like that. This is right into your living room. Put the china away. Drew Gooden will shoot one more as Collison comes back on the floor. Christofferson, the young man from Runa, Denmark, will also take a seat on the bench. Here's a great Dane. And at the line, Drew Gooden, the All American, whose mother was Finnish. Father African American. He played professionally in Finland after playing at Central Washington as a collegiate. And Drew was telling us yesterday he's been to Finland six or seven times. He swore he could speak a little bit of Finland. Just a little bit, he said. I think Dick Hemberg and he had spoken. Well, to you know, he said story. that. He said he and Dick last week tried to exchange things in Finnish. I've got a feeling it didn't go much beyond thank you and how are you. Good pressure here on the ball. I'll be agreeing with you. Jackson. Whoops. Here comes Heinrich with a run out. Left side, Langford. Up, foul, rejected by Fred Jones. Jackson running up the other end. Jones for three. Big play. That's what they do best. Push you back on your heels and then settle for three in the early. Kirk Heinrich tries to force the issue for Kansas. Look at this drive by the big guy. That's Hillquist that uh, kind of waved as he went by. Langford. Hotfelds. Good call, too. Elevated. The guy who does the little things, Robert Johnson. But the push, the philosophy is play good D. And this is the addition of shot blocking to the defense. Saves it. The push out. All the white shirts collect in the lane and leave the puppy set for Freddie Jones, who's out of the gate strong. Something they felt he would do. He's a bounce back guy. He's only had a few bad ones. He's countered them with good ones. Four point game with 13.05 to go first half. Here's Fat Lever's son, Anthony Lever. He's guarded by Lankford, Ridenauer, and Miles. And from the corner, jumper is good by Lever. Ernie kept telling us he's one of his best, pure shooters on the team. Uh, you better tag him on the perimeter. They contain Ridenauer. Others have bitten them. Good. Back to Collison. Check to see if he's got three. Takes two. Oh, my goodness. Did they bite on that pump fake? And right back at you, Vern. A little bit too much of a lead. To Lever. And Riddell is right. He was pointing like curl to the rim. That's where the pass was. And here's that pump fake. You move out totally out of control and just nice, easy layup, which we can relate to. <laughs> below the rim. Yes, very well below the rim. Roy Williams has gone back to his bench. He's got Aaron Miles now on the floor, the freshman who played high school ball in Portland, Oregon. He's being guarded by Luke Riddenauer. Well, they're in the zone now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're two, three, the rim, Burn. Okay. And the kick out to Boshi. There's Heinrich with a pump fake. Rittenauer flies by in the corner. Miles, nice adjustment in the air. The rebound, however, comes down for Jones. Here's Rittenauer. Boshi backs, Lever with the jumper. Rebound, Heinrich, loose ball, Rittenauer. What a save, huh? And Heinrich tracks it down. Great read. Great anticipation. Greyhounds. Buckle, buckle the shoes. <laughs> Got it! Well, they talk about his courage, his ability to bounce back, to handle pain. A lot of people, when he went down with that ankle injury, thought he might not recover. But one of the true competitors here, the ability to get between defenders, elevate the little point guard with the kiss here, Vern. Now, uh, Kirk Heinrich had the ankle injury, first half, game one, Holy Cross. Some say miraculously he came back, he iced it for 48 hours, came back and played. 21 minutes, scored 15 in the second round game against Stanford, and then got in foul trouble here in the first round game. Roy Williams said, well, he ought to be well rested. <laughs> Sitting first, Drew Gooden gets a rest. Collison's back out. Jeff Carey, the fifth year senior, 
Number 22 is on. And they like to trap off a timeout. You got to be ready for it. They could get an open look because of it, though. Anthony Lieber, entry pass to Jackson. Muscles his way over Collison. Ball on the floor. James Davis, number one, on for the first time. Another good shooter for the Oregon Ducks. They have not given Ridnow a look outside, Vern. He's played well within himself. There's the jumper from the corner. Michael is... And it's touched last by Carrier Collison. It will be Oregon's ball. Michaelis may have gotten away with the over the back and uh, they get the ball to boot. Uh, Roy just checking in. Let him know he's in the game. James Davis will inbound to Ridnour, or rather Jackson. Now Michaelis. Great Miles job. doing a great job on Ridnour so far. Denying the basketball. He's got to keep moving. Here's Davis. Tough rejected shot. by Collison. This is an intriguing matchup with these point guards. Ridnour, of course, the McDonald's All-American from Wayne, Washington, in his second year at Oregon. And Miles, who grew up in Portland, said he couldn't, he didn't go to Oregon. Because they had a point Because Ridnour was there, right. He's a deep shooter. That's what's tough, huh? The heels were on half court for Oh, you got to get up on him. Now we talk about his good job of denial, and there's Ridnour over Miles at the other end. It's Lankford again. This is where he's tough. Little head and shoulder, discard, nice look. Jackson. Back it goes. Miles is right there. Davis, good job defensively by Boshi. And this club, some takes a bad shot because they pass so well. Boy, well, Jackson had to work hard for that. Not so sure about that one. No. That statement. And there's Collison with the board. Miles in the lane. Back outside to Boshi. Davis. Knocks it out of bounds. Drew Gooden will come back on the floor for Jeff Carey. Carey, one of the two seniors on this ball club who plays a lot and a co-captain for the Jayhawks. A three-time All-Academic at Big 12. Pretty impressive. Graduated, as we noted, uh, getting some graduate degree now. There's Collison. Alley oop. Gooden. Oh. How tough is that? That's that. Good use of the postman. Turn on the guy, seal him, and step to the goal. Rittenauer at the other end. Chased down by Lankford. Touch last by Oregon. Last time out taken by the Oregon Ducks. They trail by eight with just under 10 to go. In the first half of play, Oregon in the regional final for the first time since their 1960 team. First trip this far in 43 years. Some interesting matchups. Now, Boshi with Jackson. There's that diagonal screen. This is America's play. Screen, screen down. Heinrich. Give him that kind of look, and he's going to nail it every time. I'll tell you, he's getting fresher, don't you think? Yeah. A little more active, and Boshi with a great look. Largest lead of the game. And seven unanswered now. Fueled, really, by defense. Great. There's the dish underneath. Michael is from Robert Johnson. Twice they made great reads and made baskets, Oregon. Boshi. Tipped. Loose ball. Off the glass. Good good activity. He's right there. You've got to stick him and move him out. But he's got great feet to get to the open area. Back to 11 in the lane. Lever. And Boshi with the defense this time. Ridden now are guarded by Miles. Tough. There's Gooden. Yeah. Got a back dribble and get him organized. Ridden oh, what a beautiful pass, Bill. Sure was. The tip is good. It was Miles who did thread the needle. I'll tell you, he made some great passes the other night, but how about Collison running the floor? The work ethic he possesses. Incredible. Jackson. Steal. Foul. And look how tired Luke Jackson is at half court. Holding his side, he is whipped. I think he, yeah, he's asking to go out. I mean, that's the dilemma when you play KU. Here's the, the, the look that you noted for him. Right down, the toughest pass is one straight ahead. But I just imagine this guy working for you. He'll show up every day, Collison, give you everything he has. There, cleans up his own miss. And Collison with nine points now. Michaelis. And Christofferson, the big man on the floor, as Jackson gets a seat on the Oregon bench. Right now we're over there with him and a little bit tired as well. I mean, a lot of pressure. Not a good look here by good. Fred Jones with the steal. He's got Davis right side. Davis, jumper. Yes. They won't go away. 
uh, unabashed. I mean, they're so confident in their early offense because they shoot it so well from deep. Get it back to 10. Gooden with the jumper unimpeded from 18 feet. This is one of those games you say, is anybody guarding anybody? And they are. They're trying, but the offense is extraordinary. High level. Under eight to go. Good and perfect from the field. Four for four. There's Jones. Little crossover. Jumper in the lane. Leader got it. How about that individual ability? And right back at you, KU. Frederick Jones with seven. Has been held under double digits only twice all year. Most recently, the other night in the win over Kansas. Jones with another steal. He's having a fine game in the early going. Davis for three. Nope. Paulson now tired. I mean, the big guys are really going to be extended today. Davis on Miles. And there's the ball back in Miles' hand. Good. Wow. Great job. He just slices between defenders. He's got strength and speed. A lot of guys, hands on the knees, hands on the pants. Pants, I should say. A little bit exhausted. Or it's coming out hard. How about that? Good. And plenty more to come. Kansas by 10 with 7-11 to go in the first half, shooting the ball very well, as they have done all year. And, Bill, we thought big guys' pace of play, uh, they've been dominant for Kansas so far. I hope the trainers brought a respirator. I mean, these guys are putting out. You've got to get back. The important aspect, particularly for the big guys, even if you don't get a fast break, it's they set up, Vern, and they're so deep, it's a problem for Oregon. So they're going to have to rotate people, get some fresh bodies in, and keep doing it. Keep up with Kansas. Now, Lever is joined by Davis on the floor with Fred Jones, Michaelis, number 50, and Johnson. There's a skip pass in the corner for Davis. And Langford with good position for the rebound. Brett Ballard is on the floor for Kansas. And here's Ballard, number three, his first appearance in the game. And Roy trying to match the rotations, too. The little guys get tired as well. Heinrich. Jones goes for the steal. Langford. Pretty. Beautiful pass to Simeon. And it's tipped out of bounds. It will be Kansas to throw it in. And Langford again just bites you in so many different ways. There, found the pass. Simeon unable to get the legs to jam it in. I think they're going to try and get Luke Jackson in now. And Ernie, ja uh, Ernie Kent has gone back to Luke Jackson. 6-7 perimeter man from Creswell, Oregon. Grew up right near the campus of Eugene, about seven miles away. Here's Heinrich with the inbound play. Back screen to get Simeon to the box. There he is. Back outside to Gooden. Gooden can pass because he can see over people. This is where he's gotten better from with the dribble. So much for that. <laughs> Astute analysis. <laughs> Here's Lever jumper. Made him pay. Can I borrow the towel? I got a little heel <laughs> Oh, timing. Timing as in comedy is all important, That's right? A nice cross. Heinrich, nope, not there. Up, rebound, Wayne Simeon from Leavenworth, Kansas. Fresh body, show of strength. Under six, here's Lieber. And a quick catch and shoot by Jones way up in the air. A lock and load. I don't know if they need that, Vernon. Usually they're better when they pass it a few times. We've got 545 to go in the first half, and Dwight Gooden's already, already with nine rebounds. And you got a fresh Kurt Heinrich able to turn the corner, shoot jumpers. Much more impressive physically today. 40-28. Now Johnson guarded by Simeon. Junior college transfer. And a nice little left-handed jumper in the lane. He's their stud. He's their go-to guy down there. And very good at finding a hole and getting passes. Johnson in his first year at Oregon. He played last year for Craig McMillan at Santa Rosa Junior College. On the floor. Taken away, Lever finds Jones <laughs> emphatically. And that's the thing Ernie Kent alluded to with us. If we don't guard, we can't play. They haven't been aggressive on the perimeter. They switched to a little combination there. A little two, three again this trip. And the Duck fans are on their feet. Ernie Kent up, coaching hard. Look inside for Simeon. There's the switch. Jumper, Ballard. Nice play. Jackson. Here come the Ducks. Ooh. Ouch. I'll tell you the uh, 
Substituting has really helped, I think, or just stay in. The ability to rotate people, fresh bodies. Of course, they say when the Ducks come after you, they come in numbers. <laughs> the open floor, the look, and of course, the giveaway at the end. Well, they're nibbling away at the lead. <laughs> Eight point margin. Wayne Simeon picked up the foul, and uh, Roy Williams sends fresh bodies on the floor. He's got Miles back, Collison back, Jeff Carey, and Boshi. This is where the assistants have to pay attention, say, Coach, you got to get him out, get this guy out, because they're all grabbing the pants. Very important that they're fresh out there. And Ridnour is back for Oregon. And here's Ben Lindquist on the floor. He just, this is not a spell his last name. Well, he's just one foul of vowel away from <laughs> a nicely stated back day. And there we go. And they were one basket away huh, from getting back in it for a five point game. This is Lindquist, the senior, out on the uh, point on Miles. Up and under, tip, no. Oregon. Lindquist to Jones. Pull up three. No. And Jackson was too busy celebrating and didn't go chase the long rebound. Uh, they thought it was good. Uh, what would you like for your entree when they ask Rick? He says all of them. Page three, uh, medium rare. I'm uh, glad uh, he wasn't there last night. I definitely wouldn't have paid. 40 35 with 345 to go before the break. Jackson fall away too hard. And the rebound comes down in Heinrich's hands. Five point game. Here's Heinrich. Guarded by Lindquist. Left side, Miles to Collison. And there's Jackson down low. And take advantage. Oh, your little footwork problem. Yeah, he was falling down. Ridnour, three on two. Beauty! Oh, what a pass! He just gives it the proper look every time. He's got some juice in his game, but he's practical when it dictates it. Hard to teach that. Nine nothing run. Collison doesn't get it. Johnson with a rebound. And here come the Ducks with a chance to tie. If that goes. What a pass by Jackson. That point forward mentality. He had Ridnour, he chose the corner. Joey Harrington, the Oregon quarterback, among those up on his feet. Boshi. And it's tracked down by Jackson. Oregon can take its first lead of the game. Ridnour. Oh my goodness. Too hard. Johnson on the floor. Hell ball, position arrow, Kansas. Now, Vern, what happens with point guards like Ridnour? You say the numbers aren't in your favor, son. Keep the ball out. He went one on four, created with the dribble, split the defenders, everything but the finish. Now they've spotted him. He had 12 minutes prior to coming in with 3.53 on the clock, so he's up to about 14. So he'll be fresh the second half. As he goes, so goes the offense of Oregon. Now this is an Oregon team that uh, changed hotels yesterday. They went to a, a quieter place because there had been a convention of pool players, about 300 of them. So they got some sleep last night. Here's Lever. Well, this club gives new meaning to hustlers. Jones Snow. But what a comeback, Bill. Uh, solid. I mean, they're a confident team. And they all can bite you deep. Now look at this post pass. Too easy. Smaller lineup and the difficulty of contesting Johnson on Collison. Collison gives Kansas a two-point edge with 1.50 to go first half. In the corner. Lever. Nope. Tip. Another 35. It's taken away by Miles. Nice cross. How about the adjustment in the air? Look at all the big bodies, though. That's the problem. If you don't get back, you're there to clean it up. In the corner. And a, a hold on Miles there. Uh, Rittenauer uh, with a good cut after the pass. But watch this crossover. My goodness, you think you got him. And now watch this. Left to right between the legs. And good hang time. But too many white shirts. And that's the difficulty. You get one, two, three people back. You got to get all five back and identify. Wow. Michael is back on for the Ducks. And Johnson gets a rest. Anthony Lieber inbounds and finds Frederick Jones. Jackson with Gooden, little clear out. Always patient, though. Seldom makes a mistake. He got hit there, too. 
good use of the dribble. He got hit in the head by his own player. That's the sixth the foul Kansas on Kansas. Is Ernie Kent. Seven years Ernie Kent coached in Saudi Arabia. Finally got a chance to come back. Coached with Boyd Grant at Colorado State, and Mike Montgomery at Stanford. Became a head coach at St. Mary's for six years and then back at his alma mater. Here's Jackson with one. He's got one more. Coming up on Singular at the half, Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg will preview the East Regional Final between Connecticut and Maryland. They'll also talk live to Kelvin Sampson and Hollis Price of OU about making it to the Final Four. And uh, finishing your thought on Ernie Kent, of course, Dick Carter was his coach and said all of this is for all of those coaches, the Munchies, the Haneys, guys who worked there over the years. He just loves this group, loves the character of his team. Nearing the one minute mark. Miles off the dribble, off the glass. Collison just took away the baseline, locked up the green shirts, open pass for Miles. Four point Kansas lead. They try to return to the final four since first time since 93. Michaelis left open. Perhaps too much so. Well, they're just shutting Ridnour away from touches, and that's the job of Aaron Miles. He's been magnificent on the point guard for the Ducks. Now the game clock, shot clock, almost simultaneously will end. Just a fraction difference. Well, they're such a good offensive rebounding team. That'll go, man. Good move here. Let's see if they stay. Now, this is dangerous because if you take it early enough, you're going to get a tip. Two big guys right down on the block with inside screens. Underneath, Collison. 15 in the first half. Good, solid read by Miles. Drew Gooden, nine points, nine rebounds. In the first half. Here's Rittenauer, Jackson, Johnson, Christofferson, and Jones on the floor for Oregon. That's Heinrich out on Jackson. Boshi guards Fred Jones, senior on senior. Miles on Rittenauer. Now, this is a better trip for him. They got the ball back to Rittenauer. They have not been doing that. It's been a quick jack. Now, Jackson trying to find a solution to the puzzle. In the lane, Robert Johnson. He and Good both played high school ball in the Bay Area. They played against each other three different times. And Drew Gooden's El Cerritos team from Richmond defeated Robert Johnson's Annalee team from San Francisco, all three. Had a pretty good defensive maneuver there. Uh, Jackson almost coming up with a steal. Kansas up by six. Jumper. Collison, a little too early with his elevation. Now Rittenauer. Back inside, Jackson kicks it back to Rittenauer. Nice to see him running the show, though. The more he touches it, Rittenauer, the better off they are. Rittenauer, the son of a high school coach, two-time 3A player of the year in Blaine. Christopherson. Well, you can see there's the quarterback. Joey Harrington made the trip here to root on the Ducks. Great quarterback for the Oregon team that had such a sensational year last year. Here's Heinrich. Wow, they are really playing solid in comp. Heinrich, a new dimension when he's healthy. Back to a six-point margin. Four of 14 combined, Rittenauer and Jackson in the first half. There's Robert Johnson, pump fake, and Gooden fouls him. Robert Johnson will go to the line. And maybe that experience of playing against them, he knows how to do the low post move, the little pump fake. They're doing a better job. It looks like they've established some inside presence now. Coach Ernie Kent looking as though a little calmer on the offensive end. A lot of pumping, get the big guy up, and get him to tag you. Second foul on Gooden. First of this half. Kansas by three. Miles and Rittenauer. That looks like his own, Vern. Good match. Uh, Boshi can be dangerous on the perimeter with this if you don't tag him. How about Heinrich's move? A little too hasty with the shot. Everything but. Nice look in the middle here by Rittenauer. Rittenauer the dish right side. Jones on the floor. Up, under, short. Gooden with a rebound, no call. Ernie Kemp thought there should be one. Miles 
What an aggressive maneuver by the little guy. Right in the numbers of Christopherson. A runner from Rittnow at the other end. And good now with double-digit rebounds. He's got 10. Miles is fouled by Johnson. Great job putting the body into Johnson to initiate the contact. But the ability to get to the rim, we saw this the other night. Terrific speed and body control. A little dexterity around the tin, and he didn't seal the baseline off. Aaron Miles, Portland Jefferson High School, the Democrats, where he was also a quarterback his senior year. Came here along with his uh, teammate Michael Lee. They both signed with Kansas, first Oregonians to play for the Jayhawks. Miles, a fine student. Vice president of the student body his senior year. Although Michael Lee said, as a throwing quarterback, he was a better basketball player. <laughs> well, he was a running quarterback, I'm sure. <laughs> nice head and shoulder, and Jackson loses the pick. How about Heinrich? Great job. After Rittenauer for three, got it. Terrific patience. That's why he's so valuable. Miles with a counter and good reaction by Dan. That's what you have to do. You must transition defensively. And a great job that time by Luke Jackson. Uh, Jackson knocks it out of bounds. Four point game, 17 27 to go. Third spot in the final four is at stake. There's Boshi. Uh, what a breakdown defensively. They didn't force the ball to the sideline. Boshi with a good cut. Look at the alley oop. Rittenauer on the money. Jones with the slam dunk. I like the pass. You can have the. <laughs> Boshi off the mark. In the corner, out of bounds, Kansas ball. And that's what Christopherson has to come up with. Can't just slap at that one. That's one going the other way. Coach Ernie Kent looking on, a little bit disgusted on that particular trip. But Rittenauer just knows how to find people. He's got great courage, and he shortens the floor. Look at this, another bad inbounds defensive yes, play. Yes, it sure was. Wow. And Collison was right there to bank it off the glass. He's got 17 points. Now uh, Rittenauer and Miles. Frederick Jones, nice pass. Oh, how nice wraparound look. They are more on their game right now than they were at all in the first half. The ball is popping around, which is sort of the characteristic of their play. But how about this little bounce pass? We've seen more of that tonight than I think we've seen all year, or this afternoon, I should say. The ability to finish inside, a guy that makes himself available, Robert Johnson. Nick Collison fouled out of the game here against Illinois the other night. He was in foul trouble in the first half. That's only his second. And Johnson, who's a 50 cent, 57 percent free throw shooter, misses that one. Here's Miles all the way. Tip. Jackson in the corner. Christopherson just met the challenge. Jackson to Rittenauer. Luke to Luke. Here's Christopherson. And another rebound. That's 11 for Gooden. How quick was that? Christopherson with the block. Really stuck. He should be with the dribble here. He is a large presence. You don't get by him unless you got a lot of change. Jackson, there's Gooden. And just enough to force him to go high with the shot. Absolutely. That's all you have to do. Hurry or change it. Touch pass back to Miles. Collison spots up. Good hands on the pass. That's one thing they didn't do in the first half. Johnson that time on Collison, unable to dump it down. And Oregon trying to get there for the first time since 1939 when this man, retired Rear Admiral John Dick, scored 13 points as the Ducks defeated Ohio State to win the first ever NCAA championship. 13's like 30. That's right. Uh, they didn't go up and down like this, I know for their sure. And you know what, Bill? Admiral Dick at six foot four. Not a small guy. No. But he's the tallest guy on the team. Here's Gooden. Got it. They could use his foot speed right now to defend Gooden. And it's a tough match for the bigs of Oregon. Kansas, six point lead, 54 60. More form to their offense, using the curls, much more active cutting. That one's Gooden, another rebound. He's dominated the board. Clean it up. Miles. At the offensive end for the Jayhawks, here's Gooden spotting up, puts it on the floor, over Hillquist. Simeon is there for the offensive board. Gooden with another rebound, and another. And good referee letting them play. Miles 
Dishes left, up, under. And they got the foul on it before. Boy, Simeon, you mentioned the offensive rebounding, the shoulders, his strength around the rim. And what that does on the weak side enables the load up by Drew Gooden. First this shot out, all of a sudden you'll see Gooden comes in because all the defense is attracted to the pass. And a little frustrated that he couldn't finish, but great effort on the glass. Drew Gooden, twice this season with 21 rebounds, he's got 17 in this game. I like his chances. I think he wants to go to Atlanta and perform it like that. Well, he said, remember what uh, Roy Williams was telling us? They played Iowa State at home. And Drew Gooden asked the coach if they won that game, they were going to cinch the Big 12 championship with three games to go. And Drew Gooden asked Roy Williams, if we win, can we cut down the Mets? And he said, why? And Roy said, why? Well, let me think about it. Well, they won, and they cut down the Mets. Roy Williams said Drew Gooden had a glisten in his eyes that was enviable. And he looked at him and said, you've never cut down the Mets before. Said, coach, I've never had the opportunity. It was so meaningful to him. Tough look here. I thought he was going up with a written hour. Written hour. Pretty dribble. Oh, what a dribble over Miles Short with a shot. And Johnson, who's had a splendid game, can't quite hang on. They got a walk down the baseline there. I, you know, that's an area where the team meets. That could be a little slipper there. Heinrich turning up the floor. That happens on occasion. And so it's going to be Oregon ball. Jones, Ridenauer, Jackson, Lever, Christofferson. Uh, turnovers at the Lama, huh? 13 8. Valuing the ball. Everybody takes a deep breath right now for one of the few times, <laughs> including you and me. It's been great. Traveling. Oh, wow. That was an anticipation. Yep. I do not think he did it. He faked with the lead foot. And good composure by Robert Johnson, too. A lot of guys start rolling the eyes, get upset. He's just going back. Tough guy. And Coach Ernie can't not agree on what's wrong. It was right in front of him. Heinrich off the glass. Tipped out. Johnson. Lead pass. Rittenauer. Jumper over Miles. Lieber and they'll stay down. Heinrich is going to get called for the foul. A good effort by him, though. He's trying to ride the rebounder away from the goal, but that's what is difficult. If you don't get back, they'll shoot the jumper on the freeze. Rittenauer is terrific at that. They also chase it down. So similar in philosophies, these two clubs. Gooden back on the floor, so also is Keith Lankford. Simeon and Miles will rest for Kansas. And for Ernie Kemp and the uh, Oregon Ducks, Luke Jackson is back on the floor. You know, for matchup purposes, you really got to think as they bring different people out fresh right away. What does he do? What do they run for? Him? Where do I have to push him? Now Heinrich defensively on Rittenauer. Good ball fake. Jones, Jackson. Hasn't had the kind of offensive day he'd hoped for. Now they're really doing a nice job handling him on the screens. Two for 11 before that shot, and that one's blocked. Rejected by Lankford. The freshman from Fort Worth. Here's Heinrich. Kick ball, I believe. You get into that area that you got to come up with some offense off your defense, and I think that's important, imperative for the Ducks. Their running game keys everything for them. Now Langford will inbound. Langford, Collison, Gooden, Heinrich, and Boshi on the floor for the Jayhawks. Boy, he's quick. He sure is. He really has that quick first step, doesn't he? And they're out of bounds. Right. Fortunate play. He's explosive, and he's had opportunities where he might be just rushing at the finish. As, as Colson gets by a guy, maybe the little bump, maybe the physical play, and also fatigue factors in. Heinrich will inbound for the Jayhawks. And they finally switched that screen. Boshi earlier had gotten a wide open one on the inbounds. 62-54. The follow from Collison. Again, the attraction to the ball. This time, good penetration. And then the read by Collison. And the first time we've seen a double-digit lead in this half. At the beginning of the day, we talked about a perceived advantage in the big men category for Kansas. And look what Collison and Gooden have accomplished. How about the job they do around the basket? I mean, the rebounding this half, 14 to 4, Kansas is out rebounding them. Overall, 40 to 24. But their speed is the difficulty for Oregon. Can't contain them. Now, Jackson 
And he's guarded by Langford. Jackson, there's the help coming from Collison. Johnson with a jumper from the free throw line and another rebound for Kansas. Heinrich has this one. Boshi back outside. Collison. Langford. Quick oh. move. And he went by two people. Christopherson just couldn't get down to help out quick enough. And Jackson had steered him to the baseline looking for support. Keith Langford, not that highly recruited, signed with, the, or not, didn't sign with, committed to Ole Miss as a junior, and then decided he did not want to go there. Roy Williams said, you've got to recommit and decommit as well. He did, and then signed with Kansas. But with two McDonald's All-Americans in Miles and Simeon, he was the least acknowledged as a first-year player. Here's Collison again. How many opportunities you just can't do that? Tough look. What a catch by Jones, huh? Gonna have to change the look. They're going to half court. You might see straight up man. I don't think they're gonna trap. That was Jones from Jackson. 11.55 to go. 10 point edge for the Jayhawks. We mentioned speed. See, Collison missed it and was quicker to the ball. That's basketball speed. Langford back to Boshi. There's the quick hands of Luke Ridenauer. Three on two. Jones, 4-3. Wow, they get right back in it. Solid play. And also the ability to shoot the threes. Somebody at the rim, it's easier to do. Red Jones with 21 in the game. He is pesky, is he, with the hands in the 2-3 zone here? Jumper, Boshi. For Kansas. Now here comes Oregon, Ridnauer splits the two. Oh, goodness, and he touched it too, Johnson, I think. The defense ran it beautifully. He could be exciting, and they need some more. Solid play in the half court. Kansas by a 68-59 score with uh, 11.06 to go. Oregon relying much of the season on the two Lukes, Luke Jackson, Luke Ridnauer, and in this game, Bill, they're combined five of 21, and uh, it's been a problem for Oregon. They need that to score. There's no question. But I think the bigger problem is defensively. They're letting people turn the corner. The big guys are stepping up, and that's opening up areas to offensive rebound. Second chance points are killing them. They must get some offense off their defense. Some runouts. Now Miles back on the floor with Ridnour guarding him. Back to a man-to-man. -man. Here's Gooden. No fake. No foul call. Ridnour has it. He's got Jones coming down to the left. He'll take it all the way. Not there. A nice shot by Miles again. Langford, spin move, Miles, Heinrich, back to Simeon, who's going to go to the free throw line. You can just see Christofferson, he reacted to the dribble drive, an area of major concern. He doesn't have the coverage, the ability to bounce back into space and play a guy like Simeon. I mean, he's doing half of the job, but he's not mobile enough to cover it twice. Simeon shoots. Two. One more. You were telling me Roy Williams and his staff saw Simeon in the sixth grade in the camp. Sixth grade, and Roy went to his coaches and he said, "Tell their par his parents that I want to see them before they leave camp." Uh, he's amazing. Coach Roy Williams uh, recruits them early. And he's had such a wonderful run, and the respect he has for Dean Smith, as we all do, anybody who's coached this game took a lot of the philosophy and the ideas of what type of people he wanted to play for him and he's done a wonderful job at Dean Smith's alma mater. Dean Smith, a member of the 1952 National Championship Kansas team. Nice job by Langford on the denial. And the number is Heinrich. Big body is there and the big body belongs to Christopherson. Now you make mistakes, top of the key. He's usually run out and it puts some pressure on others and he just can't get back to stoppers and he's making the initial pass Langford knows it gets up in the passing lane and that's what they glean from tape things like that Vern where when the big guy has it let's button up on the wings don't let him make the entry pass see if we can get a run out Heinrich gets the first he'll shoot another Luke Jackson and Robert Johnson back on the floor for the Ducks of Oregon. Roy Williams of course played one year at North Carolina as a walk on in the late 60s and then decided to 
His future was not in playing, but in coaching. Became a student of the game. Ultimately served as an assistant to Dean Smith for 10 years before he took the Kansas job 14 years ago. Those stack set. They stream down and lock low. Johnson to Jackson. Johnson works hard. Luke Jackson just can't get one to fall today. Didn't get his feet set, was drifting. He's two for 13 for the day. Heinrich, runner, the dribble drive. Oregon not getting back. Biggest lead of the game, and just like that, Lever. Great steal by Renau. He doesn't need it. Not too many white shirts. One on three, he'll bring it out. Jackson. That's a walk, by the way. Got away with it. Touch pass. Lever again. Yes! And Rittenauer was solid. A lot of guys at that age would have taken it to the rim, made a mistake. He got a good look for his team. Back to back threes, and it's an eight point game. Boshi will come back for Kansas. Now here's Heinrich. And the big guys can see over the top. Great entry pass here. The ability to finish and hang. Lankford. Deep Lankford for two off the glass. Oh. Unimpeded at the other end. They lost Jackson. Now that's a show. Coach Roy Williams taking his coat off. He just put it back on. They did not get back. And that's what this punishing philosophy of both clubs. But the Ducks that time. Kick out. Heinrich. Now Gooden, here's another turnover. Nice. Rittenauer off the dribble. There's the dish to Jones for two. His use of the hesitation, the pause, explodes, and still under control. The coach Roy Williams really upset at that run out, but it's the defense right now of the Ducks that has started this run. Ducks are flying high. They're back within six. 75-69, and Bill, one thing that has gotten Oregon back in this, points off turnovers. And 16 by Kansas, they averaged that for the year, and that's what they feel. They've, uh, Fred Litzenberg, an assistant coach to Coach Ernie Kent, came on, emphasized the defense, and that's where they get the runouts. Good, solid play, gives them easy looks. And after uh, the Jayhawks established the largest lead of the game, Oregon right back in it. Langford. Oh, my goodness. Well. It doesn't happen without good screening. And Simeon is masterful, locking people up. Turns everybody out of here, gets two people for the price of one. And Langford, two to ten. Langford has ten, five of six. The freshman from North Crowley on the edge of Fort Worth, Texas. Rebound, Oregon Jones. 77-69, 8-10 to go. Lever. Oh, wow. And Rittenauer gave it up early enough. A little tardy defensively the last few trips by KU. That's generally, you're tired. Five-point game. Ducks energized. You can just sense it among the five on the floor and on the bench. Kick pass, jumper, Miles. Rebound, Collison, and one. Nobody up there with the playing smaller now and not able to compete with Collison, who got himself right in the lane. Anytime you get a good shot, it really helps offensive rebound. Here's the slide into the lane. In front of people, they're playing a 1-1-3, one, one, a 2-3 for those old timers out there. It bends in shapes, and nobody has checked out responsibility in a distinct fashion. The offensive board in the Miles' hands. Collison with a double-double so far. 21 points, 12 rebounds. Back it goes to Miles. Seven-point lead, Kansas. Nice ball fake. They got the walk, huh? Good call. <laughs> and he wears 13 because he wanted to wear four and five, either four or five. When he came from Valley City, North Dakota, those numbers were taken, so he was given 13. Now, seven players have worn number 13 for Kansas, the first of whom was Ralph Miller, who played from 39 to 42 and became a great coach at Oregon State. And we mentioned the other night uh, this 
Oregon team passes the ball like Ralph Miller's team used to. Yes. Nice cut again. Jones, short. On the four, Miles picks it up for Kansas. Seven minutes to go. A berth in the final four at stake. And a very small Oregon team on the floor. Five times in Roy Williams' 14 years, he's had a number one seed. None of those number one seeds have made it to the final four yet. And the automatic switching on the perimeter right now. A little confusing for KU. Boshi over Jones. They've not hit a three in this half. Size a problem. Offensive rebounds, a nightmare right now. And it's about dive. to get even more uh, difficult because Gooden's coming back on the floor. Both coaches trying to rotate bodies, keep them fresh. Size not as important right now as the ability to get back defensively. That's amazing, isn't it? Wow. And Langford, the young man from North Texas at the free throw line. Shoots one more. Monday on the Emmy Award winning Late Show with David Letterman. Don't miss the star of the new CBS hit comedy Baby Bob. The star is Adam Arkin. Plus music from Midnight Oil. It's an all new day Monday here on CBS. Got them both. He hit two crucial free throws late in the game. The win over Illinois the other night. And he's got 12 points and seven rebounds off the bench now. Oregon 10 for 20 from threes. They've been settling a lot. See if they can get something driving to the rim. Jackson taken away by Collison. Clean block. Ernie Kemp thought there might have been contact. Great effort. Good squeeze on the baseline. Nine point lead Jayhawks. Up under Gooden. Hit the net as he kicks it out. There's a deep post position. By Collison, he's going to go to the free throw line. Now, Vernon all started with Gooden going baseline. Collison got in the lane to offensive rebound and then locked his guy as the pass went outside. That's why he was able to do so much damage around the rim. Collison shoots two. One of three at the line today. One of four. Well, that shot, I don't know if it pains him or he's having trouble focusing. If he gets back in, he better focus on the checkout. They need some help. Too many of these opportunities. And another one for Kansas. Another one. Another offensive board. Two men with double doubles today, both Gooden and Collison. Back to the beginning of the broadcast, talking about how the decided advantage and Langford. Wow, what a two games he's put back to back here in Madison. From the top, and that's the perimeter defense not doing a good job. The ability to get it low, all the, all the heads turn, and he comes from the top. And you see, no checkout, able to discard, I believe, Jackson there, and get himself to the rim and finish with a little authority. Mentioned that he committed to Ole Miss as a junior. Changed his mind. Roy Williams said, you've got to decommit, which he did publicly. And then it came down to a choice between Kansas and, ironically, Oklahoma before he cast his lot with the Jayhawks off the front iron. Now, right now, I thought he had that one knocked down. In the corner, Lankford again. Here's Heinrich. 5.15 to go. Boshi, no. Look at the follow. Another. They're going to have to play straight up, man. Uh, they're switching. They're getting confused. They're not putting bodies on people whatsoever. We play late with five minutes remaining. Regional final, Madison, Wisconsin. One seed against a two seed. The Kansas Jayhawks have led throughout. They were up by as many as 12 in the first half by six at the break. Well, they drag two with the dribble. They can just see they can't get back in position to check out. Langford gets a round of applause. That was Lever that didn't get to check out. My apologies to Jackson. And Christofferson back on the floor now for Oregon. He replaces Robert Johnson. Fred Jones. 
On the floor, Christofferson back outside. Jackson with Gooden defending. And a great job. Took away the one side, his left hand. Couldn't control the bounce. Boji. Oh. That was high. Had the hand on it, though. Collison. Here's the pick and roll. Collison pops out to the left. Miles brings it back outside. Davis guarding him now. They run a nice inside. Davis develops the high low. We usually say goodnight. And the hold, I think, by Jackson underneath. That's yep. so beautiful the way they developed that. They used to the dribble the three perimeter guys can break it down and score. The fill to the high post by Collison. And you can just see the inhaling there. Very, very tired duck group at this point. Ernie Kent, fifth year as the head coach at his alma mater. His team fought back from a 12 point margin to tie it up 40 all, trailed at the half by six. They were down at one point by 14. That is the margin right here. And uh, clawed back to a five-point deficit. But they've never been able to get over the top, and they have not been able to in large measure because of that man, Drew Gooden, and his counterpart, Nick Collison. Another rebound there, 18 form. Just so solid on both ends of the floor. Largest lead in the game. Jones, the senior, in the lane. Got it, and a free throw. Boy, they really needed it. Good use of the dribble to create, making something happen, but it's the other end that's the dilemma for Oregon. Here, break your guy down, get into the lane. Here, you take the hit, still get the body boy. You can see they don't scrape from the side there. You need some help with the quickness on the perimeter for both teams. Frederick Jones, born in Arkansas, moved to U. Portland when he was in the fifth grade. His dad back in Arkansas working now. Fred Jones said he always wanted to play for Texas or North Carolina. That opportunity not there, so he's uh, had a great career at the Oregon Ducks. Good. Dribble drive. Fine people and defensively not solid at this point. 345 to go. The lead's 14. Jones. One and done, two. Collison. Nice steal. Good. And who's there but Collison? 325 to go. And it's on the perimeter now. They're in that little matchup, and they get an open look because of it. Baseline, Heinrich. Miles with the dish. Collison with the slam. Well, you hear it said. You don't check out in zones like you do man to man. They are decimating on the offensive glass and then finding people. In the final four along with Indiana and coming up next UConn against Maryland. That another one seed against a two. Quick hitters is what you're looking for. They get one here. Curl. Be the baseline. They lifted everybody. Wide open lane. Margin is 14. Entry pass taken away, ball on the floor. Christofferson and Simeon. Head ball, hell ball, it's going to be uh, Kansas with the possession arrow. Lever will come on for the Ducks. 2.47 to go. Jayhawks by 14 with 2.47 to go. Our CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Offensive rebound, 23 11 edge for Kansas, and that's led to 30 second chance points. Get complete tournament coverage at cbs.sportsline.com or on America Online. Enter keyword CBS Sports Live. 51 years of age, 14 years at Kansas. Big decision not to go back mm -hmm. when the invitation was issued to him to his alma mater at North Carolina. And he just saw that arm around by Collison. Nick, uh, that's part of the reason he stayed. Uh, he loved this group, felt he would be leaving them, letting them down. Heinrich will inbound. There's Boshi, the senior. Back it goes to Gooden. Straight up now. Look at this rebounding advantage. 56 to 27. And a little giveaway out by half court. And Lever. But that you just can't stay in the game consistently. When they miss a shot and you play good D, and you see your guys not checking out. That's been the major dilemma for Coach. Ernie Kent. They've been confident with their defense, too. 
Now Langford back at the free throw line in the double bonus, so he shoots two. Fifth time as a top seed under Roy Williams, and they have had problems getting to uh, the final four. In 92, they lost in the second round. 95 in the regional semi, same thing in 97, and in 98, a loss in the second round. They were in the final four in 93. They won the national title, of course, with Larry Brown as a sixth seed in 1988, that magical year with Danny Manning leading the way. In Kansas City, too. And against Oklahoma. Billy Tubbs Club. 225 block, Heinrich. Back to Jones. Fred Jones. Tipped, Heinrich. Lever puts it up. Chased down by Johnson. Here's Rittenauer. Pretty. Dish, Johnson. Can't get it. Well, that's what Cook does. He was looming there, you're concerned. And Jones will go to the free throw line. He has shown a great ability to get in the lane. Uh, we've seen him make threes. Uh, the last couple of trips, he's been very aggressive getting into the rim. The big dilemma is what they do at the other end. And now you can change your D if he makes the free throws, give him a little rattle, see if he can trap, create a turnover, get some quick hitters. And what a rebound from a, a, as a self-admitted poor game he had the other night against Texas. 29 points now in what might be his final game. Fred Jones. You know what I loved the most when we spoke with Fred yesterday was he was talking about when his dad left. He used to go to all the games to continue. He had about two years left for his pension. He thought he was letting them down a little bit. He wasn't playing well. He just felt so long. His mother came up and chatted with him and said, look, you just play. We'll take care of our business. And it's worked out very well for both entities. And here's the steps in the backcourt. Under two to go, 154, 93, 79. And Langford will come back on, replacing Simeon for the Jayhawks. Inbounded, Ridnauer, Ridnauer and Jackson. Oh, not a good look that wide. Langford, here's Miles, got it. No, he doesn't. Who got the rebound? Right. Heinrich, of yeah. course. I mean, that's amazing. Propensity to come up with them, play after play, the giveaway. And with 97 seconds to go in this one, Gooden's going to go back to the line. Mm. Now, we talked a lot about the history of this Kansas program. It goes back to the days of Fog Allen, of course. That 52 championship team, Dean Smith, a part of that. Max Falkenstein is the radio broadcaster. He's the uh, analyst for this Kansas radio network. He is in his 56th. 56th season. There he is. Max is now 78. The first game he broadcast, he told me last night, was Kansas against Oklahoma AM. The coaches were Fog Allen and Henry Iba and Bob Curlin, the seven footer, was a player for Oklahoma AM. He was saying the key then was the narrow key, the six foot key. Curlin That's right. Dominate Chris Mike as well. You know, in 52 when Kansas was in, uh, the NCAA, the all tournament team was Johnny Red Kerr, Clyde Lavellet. Bob Zawalik and Ronnie McGilfrey from St. John's. And there was a Dean on it, too. Right. But it was not Dean Smith. I know Coach were on that club. But Dean Kelly, who they said was one of the great defenders, uh, friends of mine who played against them at LaSalle, said Dean Kelly would lock you up. And that's what Roy Williams' club has been able to do this, this afternoon. Well, that was the 52 Kansas championship team. You know what else about that team? As an Olympic unit, 14 players, they went to Helsinki. They were coached by Fog Allen, and seven of the 14 players on the U.S. Olympic team were Kansas Jayhawks. You know everything about the Scandinavian country. Oh, I, I cover that area around Lindsberg and Lawrence. So. Well, a great history, though. Uh, absolutely. What Ernie Ken is trying to develop with his Oregon team is the same sense of purpose and stature, and they're well on their way, too. 96 81, 117 to go. It's going to be the Jayhawks back in the final four. And then either Yukon or Maryland will join them and complete the fourth down. Roy Williams in quest of his first ever NCAA championship. 
think he doesn't have it in order. He said yesterday it's my second most important goal. The first is coaching my grandchildren in basketball and baseball, and they've yet to be born. Uh -huh. Well, this team saw them in Maui early in the year, and they just continue to get better. And uh, the story of any NCAA title, of course, is that ultimately only one team goes home happy. And the reality sets in the gloom. Uh, but when we reflect back later on in this week, we are going to be awfully proud of what they've been able to accomplish. And you know the proudest alum of all? Tom Gernstead, That's president of the NCAA. He used to be a football coach there and recruited Joey's dad, Harrington. John Harrington. He recruited John Harrington back in the late 60s. John Harrington was a senior when Dan Fouts became a freshman at Oregon. We get the feeling good now or we'll be back here. There's oh, yeah. a great I challenge. Mean, it's a wonderful learning experience for the young people. The Lukes didn't get the right hand today, but I'm sure they'll return. 15-point Kansas lead. They are en route to Atlanta. Drew Gooden said his dad was not here this week. His mom, Ula, is here. But his dad, Andrew Sr., is going to make the trip to Atlanta. Drew said he told his dad, if you only want to make one trip, let's go to the final four. He said to take care of it. He certainly one did. What a solid game by him and Collison. One to go, 98-83. And the Kansas Jayhawks are going to go 33-3 and en route to Atlanta. The Oregon Ducks will conclude their season with 26 wins and nine defeats. There's the 100th point. 40 seconds to go. Gooden, 18 points and 20 rebounds. Collison, 25 points and 15 rebounds. And they want to continue play. That's the signal. He wants to get everybody on the floor. Coach Roy Williams only how important it is, even if it's a few seconds. And it's good sportsmanship, too. You're not rubbing it in any way to Oregon. First time these two teams have ever met in the NCAA tournament. And it's going to be a successful trip for the Jayhawks of Kansas. Right side. And the skip pass underneath. And a foul. Nash gets it. Another offensive rebound. And the final 22 seconds of this one. Davis from way outside tipped. The run out by the Jayhawks. Everybody can do it. And a foul. Ha, ha. Have I said that before? A rather perfect punctuation point to this one. Does that state the fact? Just aggressive on the glass all afternoon. Roy Williams and the Jayhawks are heading back to the Final Four for the first time in nine years.